Well, good morning and welcome back to Fishing with Don BBK. Today we're back out with the uh, Lincolnshire drains. It is windy as always. Uh, it's a beautiful winter morning. There's plenty of wind. Uh, we never had a frost last night. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, I'm fishing today with Vandy. Uh, there's a, one of the local lads. Absolutely outstanding fishing god. Uh, I'll show you what, what surfers are used today. Today, because we're fishing from a muddy bank, we've got no, just using the buzz bars. I've got two baits out. On the left hand side is a joey mackerel. On the right hand side is a sardine. The banks are a bit muddy and slippy and I'm sure by before the end of the day I'm probably swimming in that water. It's a, the rig that Andy uses, he uses a heavy uh, spinning rod, uh, I think it's about 8 foot, an all pipe float onto a clip, uh, and he uses all barbless hooks on his snap tackles, he actually makes these himself. Uh, it's one of the, the finest wire I've ever seen, there's not much difference between the, the line and the actual snap tackle itself, it's very very good. Uh, one of Andy's tips was that the reason he uses that clip so as soon as he catches the pipe and gets it in there, he just um, clips it so he doesn't have to carry the rod and the keep or the land in there. I think it's a bloody brilliant tip. I never really thought about it. This is the way Andy rigs his dead bait. With the bottom hook through the towel and the, the top hook just through the gill plates. It's like, very different to how I hook mine. And his second rig that he uses, he uses the, the same type of clip again uh, with a, a sliding pipe float with a little stop bead there. And the reason he uses this is so that if he wants a ledger, he can just flick this off straight away and just put a, a couple of ounce lead on it and chuck it out as a, a ledger rod. Also, if the uh, pike are moving uh, up on the surface or actually pretty. Uh, I want to call it uh, pretty active uh, you can slip it all off and just put a straight lure trace onto there and start using a, a plug or a spinner so uh, another really really good method I've never even thought about using Thanks on, it, one, one, used one bait against the far bank and um, one bait against the near bank uh, on the near bank it's a little dead bream and on the far bank I think it's a sardine right I'm hoping that just got a bit of a, a run developing here I'm going to hand the uh, camera over to Andy and he can see uh, <laughs> how good he is at his camera skills. Do you want to grab that for us, mate? <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> Bad size one, that one, mate. Not, is it? Oops. Get him out of the That's And she's in. Right, oops, sorry mate. I'm going to use your outstanding brilliant idea of doing that. I never even thought of it before. <laughs> Are you sure I'm talking about, sir? Yeah. Yeah, hey, I've got the gear there. Let's get my
plenty. Let me go. Bad size, eh, mate? No. Not bad at all, is it? Don't mind if I use your bit there to get him back in there, mate? <coughs> no, take him back in the neck, take We have Andy having a bit of a foot moment. <laughs> Sometimes it might be worth taking your boot off before you try and put your waterproofs on. Other times, maybe not. There's a bit of action there, a lovely uh, pike caught on a fly by this young lad here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> beauty. And that's a beauty. And he's just had a run and he's straight in. Nice one Andy. Put this in the middle. That's a cracky little jack. Give me a hold of it, mate. Like a glove. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's a beauty, mate. Do you want me to take tank for you? <laughs> it's slippery as bloody sin down there, mate. Oh, That's a beauty, mate.
Terrible mark on its side. Is it? Yeah, absolutely horrendous. See Ooh. that? Why? Of the gill. I think that's dandy this one. That side would look nice if they own it. Yeah. How do you think of it? left handed because the bloody hook's on that side there mm. <sighs> bugger right let's get him up this side What rugs that you got? Take five. This starter, ah, starter road, yeah. Two what? meters seventy. That's eight feet six, something like that. No, no. What weight is it? It doesn't. Yeah, ah, right. line six oh, seven. Two ah, feet six seven. Yeah, nine, nine feet. Sorry. That's right. Well, this is one of the reasons why you need to make sure you've got a good set of wire cutters with your clippers. Uh, I remember this from one of River Piker's videos where he stabbed himself through the hand and then he needed uh, to clip it off. And uh, exactly what we've just done here. So, excellent tip, River Piker. Love it. We might need to go. One thing I love about piking is. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many times you go, there's always something different happening. And this is the second time within about two weeks I've been gnashed myself. But that's the way it goes. Uh, at least it ain't as bad as the one I caught down on the. Uh, I, caught, I won't tell you where it is, but I caught a couple of weeks ago. And you can see the, uh, the unhooking net is full of my bloody blood. Anyway, let's have a look and see where it goes later. I think we might need to be taking a trip to Accident Emergency for Andy. But we'll sort that one out in a sec. 